Hi, this is Mohammed Sadiq. I rarely get the opportunity to speak to the people who are at top of their success, top of the ladder. You know what? I learned it from my mentors. If you want to learn anything in your life, find out who are the top people in your own area, in your own industry, in your own niche. Doesn't matter what they do. Doesn't matter what your category is. If you are a video editor, video producer or something, you need to know the top people in the world in the video producing. If you're an electrical engineer, you need to know the top electrical engineers in the world. If you are an entrepreneur, you need to know the serial entrepreneurs in the world, the top one. You need to interview 10 of them, 20 of them, beg them, whatever it takes. If you have to pay for the dinner, for the trip, do it. Because that is the best education you can ever have in your life. And you can thank somebody else later, not me, because I learned it from my mentor. It's not my knowledge, I'm just passing on to you. By having said that, I have no idea how much excited I am today with me is Ron Desi. He is from Baltimore, Maryland. That's a Washington DC area. If you're from outside of the United States, you may not know where that is. It's a Washington DC, which is the capital of United States of America. So Ron Desi, I found him a sneaky way. I found him, he is the Fiverr super seller. That's right. Fiverr super seller mean, really mean a lot. They have over 1.6 million people working on Fiverr. Mm -hmm. And there's only 41 of them. Imagine from 1.6 million workers, professionals working, producing the quality uh, products and services and, and making a living. There are only 41 made it to the top. Imagine 1.6 million, that's a competition. And Ron Desi is one of them. And he made it in a video producing, by the way. And I, I looked at the voiceovers, how he produced videos. I wish I had met him 10 years ago. I, I have done <laughs> hundreds of thousands of videos myself. Mine is very crappy i know that i need to improve and i'm going to learn from ron desi together with you you should keep watching and we are going to ask many grilling questions how he made success to the top and how you can get inspiration from him and together we are going to learn let's be a good student ron desi welcome thank you so much for your time coming on the show no i appreciate it sadiq i really appreciate it. that was a fantastic introduction thank you so much and i didn't even think of it one uh one i guess it's you said 41 super sellers 41 out of one point some million. I, I didn't even know that. So, but that's good to hear. So thank you very much for that introduction. I'm very happy to be here and share whatever knowledge I have with your audience. I, I'm a student. I have to study first before I come on the call. Otherwise, I will look like dumb. <laughs> <laughs> that's smart. That's, that's smart. So let's start, Ron. I know before we get into your fiber one, we want to know you, who you are and where you're from. I know your story because I read it on your Supercellar uh, website, by the way, mm -hmm. on, on Fiverr, which I'm going to share in a moment. However, we want to know directly from you, where were you, what happened, who you are surrounded with that inspired you to become a superstar. I can tell you, I can make it. You don't have to say about yourself. I can tell. Make it on a Fiverr. I know your story, I'm telling you right now, it's not no secret to me because I know more about you than what you remember about yourself. However, share with our, our audience because I, this is the first time my opportunity to learn directly from you and my million friends on Facebook. Sure, sure. Again, thanks for letting me to talk to, to everyone out there. And to go way back, um, what I did was I started in the IT business. So I was an IT consultant for a long time, probably for about 10 to 12 years. And then I moved into higher education. So I became the director of an MBA program in, at the uh, University of Baltimore and Towson University. And I did that for a while. And while I was doing that, I always had this passion to be an entrepreneur, to do my own thing, to kind of write my own schedule. And I also had this passion for video. In fact, in my position and all of the jobs I've ever had, I always tried to incorporate video into whatever I was doing. And you could go all the way back to when I was a kid. My dad had one of those giant VHS camcorders. Exactly. And I remember doing videos back then. And I still have like an old one when I was probably 12, something like that. So I've always loved video. And I bumped into Fiverr probably about four years ago. At the time, Fiverr had a lot of crazy, crazy things, such as dancing hot dogs and um, singing happy birthday. But I also noticed they had a small portion of business-centered gigs. And on Fiverr, a service is called a gig. So if you sell a service, they call it a, a gig. So I saw a lot of business services out there. And so I thought, well, I've got this talent. I'm good at presenting in front of audiences and on camera. And I thought, can I possibly sell on Fiverr? So I started out, believe it or not, doing reviews for beer. 
I love beer. And so I started doing reviews of beer, but I got zero orders. I guess it wasn't that popular. So then I left Fiverr for about another year. And then about three years ago, I thought, let me try doing a professional spokesperson because at the time there were a few out there, but not many. So I started doing a spokesperson where basically it's me talking to a camera like I am now, but I would be reading a script on a teleprompter. And that's how it started. Serendipitously, Google changed its algorithm around the same time so that video became a way to rank higher on Google and other search engines. So all of a sudden my sales, my sales were doing this and all of a sudden started skyrocketing. And I became more busy and more busy and more busy. And just back September 4th of 2015, I left my full-time job and now I'm doing full-time internet marketing and full-time Fiverr. So that's what I'm doing. So you could definitely do it. Anyone can do it. Oh, that's amazing. That's a big transformation. The way you are showing me like this, your business will start going up. That's like a bending your back. Oh my God, yeah, exactly. for, a good, for a good reason. By the way, it's for a good reason. Because the video has been a popular since day one because we, as a kid, we were watching TV. That's a video. Now it goes on the internet, right. the same thing. Hey, tell me, I want to see it, you know, where you can hear right. it. And because you want to connect with the person, it's a human to human connection. I love it. My mentor, Wayne Allen wrote, he is a former presidential nominee from Tea Party. You may like it or not, doesn't matter. However, he says video is the future. Video is everything. And it you is. almost second that one. Thank you so much. That's you why I do video interviews only. People want to do text interviews and this and this and as an audio. Just send me the question. I give you the answer. I say, no, I want to talk to you as a human. That's more important. Exactly. And these are great because I listen to podcasts a lot, but I like this because here we are, we're having a conversation and I can see you. So if your viewers are looking at me, I'm looking down because I'm watching you. And so that's what's going on. You came on Fiverr and you didn't, you got the zero orders and then you left Fiverr and came back. That's, that's a right. very disappointing time. Tell us how you are thinking. I'm sure many people who are coming on Fiverr, they are going through the same frustration. Exactly. I guess when I first started, I wasn't really interested in quitting my job. I just kind of wanted to make some extra money on the side. And it was disappointing because I saw some people out there who were having a lot of success on Fiverr or at least a moderate amount. And I thought I can't even make $5. And so I kind of just gave up. And so what I did was I took that year off and I came back on. And one quick story was when, even when I started doing my spokesperson videos, when I started to do those, it was so much time and work for $5 that I almost quit. I remember the day. I remember the day I was driving in my car thinking, I just got finished a long day at work. Now I have to go and be gregarious and happy on camera. And I was so tired. I thought, is it really, really worth it? And I decided just to keep pushing forward and pushing forward. And I'm glad I did because eventually you keep working hard and you improve your Fiverr service or whatever service you're doing. And again, uh, it just, the sales started coming in and I'm so glad at that point I didn't quit where I could have very easily. And I'm glad you said that. I'm going to ask the same question a little bit different way. When you're going through those not getting an order and trying to get a five order, oh my God, I have to do all this on $5. I know in the United States of America, $5 is virtually nothing. You can't even buy a good coffee of your choice from Starbucks. That's right. And you are doing it from a program director at an educational institution and now you're working suddenly at a $5 and you're trying to figure out, oh, is it worth it or not? What keeps you going? What was the desire factor which was kept you going on that one? Because that is the decision you make basically. You know. Sure, yeah. That's a, that's a great question. What kept me going is eventually I knew that I could be successful. It's almost like one of those things that if anything, one of the, my strengths is I love to be able to communicate, to be able to teach, to be able to, to, to kind of just communicate, whether it's live in an audience or whether it's on camera. And I knew that was something that I was good at and I was passionate about it. And I was also passionate. I wanted to eventually do my own thing and be that entrepreneur. So I pushed forward, but it also just had to be kind of that internal fortitude to keep going and to, and one of the things that helped was when I was looking at all my processes for $5, it's really not worth it unless you create a structured process to make the delivery and to make the service that you provide faster and more quality. And then once I kind of changed my processes around 
and looked at the entire way I did the work differently, I could create these videos very quickly, almost like a, a production assembly line method, and then it became well worth $5. And the other thing, the last thing I'll mention is that one of the things on Fiverr is everything, here's the key, it starts at $5, it starts. And you could have extras and upsells and everything else. So I started thinking of ways that I could start at $5, but then continue to grow. And right now my average sale is $34. So it's not $5, my average sale on Fiverr is 34. And so that kind of motivated me was the kind of the picture in the future. Oh, wonderful. That's amazing. So Ron, you are so good. You already spell the bean, you will figure out my next question. That means really good, we are already on the same page. That's how you can create a friendship with your guest with the speed of light without even asking, can I be your friend please? Because mm -hmm. you need to kind of tune in very quickly. You know what, I feel like I should be talking to you for the rest of the day. I know you don't have that <laughs> much time for us and if you are watching this, you don't stop. Keep watching and write a comment. Say thank you Ron for sharing this one. Ron, you told me that from $5, you, your average order is over $30. Let's put it that number. And I see you have a thousands of com like, uh, comments, reviews from your buyers already. Mm -hmm. I looked at your profile. Do I have a permission to share your profile with my audience? Yes, please do. Yeah, you can definitely share my profile, definitely. Okay, wonderful. Let's, I'm going to share the screen right now, and then we can look at your profile and talk to each other. You know? Okay. Okay, here you go. So here's Ron Desi. There I am. Yeah, I produce very high professional spokesman videos, spokesperson videos. Look at this, 3,800 plus reviews. Amazing. Since started in 2011, guess what? Mm -hmm. One year is minus because you did not work. You already explained right. to us that you didn't work on that one. Look at the quality. I'm so proud, uh, Ron, the way you have written all this one. I'm not going to read everything here, but look at this. Look at the videos you have do you do all this is all about take some medical so now you went into niche different uh, basically niche process different niche exactly athletic it's the same business however because athletic when they're going to go come they are going to come to their niche I, I get that one it's simple so that's how you kind of differentiate now they can't compare your gig with anybody else because nobody else is saying I'm doing medical exactly right? And That's you can right. borrow this one quote, borrow, in fact, buy it if you want to, you know, get this, you know, you become the medical person. <laughs> exactly. And, look, and at was... how, look at how creatively I have studied it all before I came on this call. And look at this, okay. $5, extra delivery, $5, two days, like a 50 minutes phone call, $40. This is wonderful. It's amazing. So your order is, like, you also have a full commercial message for $100. Ron, yes. based on what you have done, you're so cheap. Tell us how you come up with this, this detailed description of that, the very high quality winning gigs, let's put it this way, and how you actually produce that much volume. Tell us more. Basically, one of the things is when I first started, I only did one spokesperson video. And so anyone out there who wants to start on Fiverr, one of the things you definitely want to do is start small. So you start with like maybe one gig. And so I started with my spokesperson, the main spokesperson one, which, which is basically me in front of a white background. And then as time went on, I started realizing that, and as you mentioned, Sadiq, is that I started niching down and creating other services. So the, the secret here is to have the same basic gig, the same work, but it diversifies based on niche. And so what I mean by that is me doing a spokesperson in a lab coat takes no more work and no more effort than it does being in a business suit, but it gives me another gig to put on Fiverr. By having PowerPoint slides off to the side, that's just another one. So it's something that I call, it's called scaling up. And so it's taking the same core gig and then making sure that you can still do the same type of thing, the same core gig, but then you're adding value added services to it, which is for me, it's niching down. So if someone was doing article writing, then he or she could then create a gig on, I'll do medical article writing or health and fitness article writing or any other niche, the thousands and thousands of niches that are out there. So that's kind of one piece of advice I would give to someone and kind of how I started um, looking at it. Now in terms of how I pro produce my videos and every person on Fiverr who sells a service does it differently. But for me, what I do is a real quick workflow is I go online, and I look at to see what's in my work queue. Then what I do is I take 
um, let's say 10 video, 10 orders, then I take the script that's given to me and I put that into a teleprompter and then I, in one session, maybe for a half hour session, I batch process those videos. Then what I do is I take the videos and then what I used to do is I used to do all the video editing myself, but I've been successful enough on Fiverr that I outsource the video editing to a video editor. His name is Mohammed. He's out in Egypt. And so he does all of my video editing. So not only do I sell on Fiverr, but I actually have someone who does all of my video editing in another country, a completely different part of the world. So, so it, it's great. So the whole point is to make sure that you're niching down so you can scale up your Fiverr business and then try to streamline the process as much as possible so that it goes quickly and those five dollars make it makes it much more worth it. So right now if I understood correctly, thank you so much. That's amazing. I get it. I work for Oracle Corporation. I know how to complex workflow yes. make it simple and streamlined. What you have done is you have niched into different lines and mm -hmm. plus you have outsourced everything else which is consuming your most of your time. Editing takes more time than the actually producing the video. <laughs> Many exactly. folks don't know that part. This interview takes less time for me and less time for you. The person who is going to edit this one every minute will cost them many minutes by the way. Oh. Exactly. I love it because I get to do what I love to do, which is create the videos to actually do the spokesperson videos. And then it allows me to free up my time to work on other things. The guy in Egypt, Mohammed, he's doing what he loves to do, which is video editing. So, it'll, so it's the win-win for, for everybody. So to be successful in any business as an entrepreneur online or offline, you need to have a success team. So your success team is someone write a content for your website like, and write a script for you. And Mia yes. Carter, I, I saw that one, you mentioned it, uh, and your, I'm sure you have arrangement with that, that's why you put a link to that one. And yes. you have a video editing, uh, like Mohammed is your team, I'm sure there are a few other people in your whole success, that's a virtual success team. You enjoy working with them, that's why you have them in your team, and you exactly. work on your strength only, that's where you have fun what you do in your whole day, basically. Is that right, Ram, or I'm just making it up? That's, that's, you're exactly right, Sadiq, and I'm glad you mentioned that because, you know, there's the person who does, I have like two or three people I work with and they're on Fiverr who are content uh, editors, they're writers. And so when someone comes to me and says, can you write my script? I'm a good writer, but I don't like doing it. And so I would rather outsource that to someone who loves it and then outsource the video editing to someone who loves it. And then what it allows me to do is rather than tying up my time with the things I don't like to do and it's not my best, my, my single best use, it allows me then to focus on what I'm really good at and then expand my business in other ways, which is what I'm starting to do now. Thank you. What they really mean is, if I understood correctly, you can correct me anytime, I'm a student just like anybody else. You focus on your strength and try yeah. to see how you can leverage your strength and outsource all of your weaknesses so that way you enjoy what you, you're never tired what you do in a whole day. I can exactly. work what I do 24 by 7. My wife says, you're not tired? I said, no, I, I love <laughs> it. You know why? Because anything which I don't know, I outsource to somebody else. Exactly. And it's the stuff that I'm doing for internet marketing and, you know, developing this course, I'll do, it'll be nine o'clock at night and I'll be on my computer, my laptop computer doing it because I love doing that. I love it. So it's really no, people say, you know, how many hours do you work? And I say all the time because my mind is always thinking about what I'm going to be doing next or what I have to do. And planning and strategy and then doing and it's just it's fun when you have fun in what you're doing you're really not working at all so work is a work or you work nine to five job just over broke that's why you have a work okay but when you're having fun where you ever want to stop having fun no you always want to continue the fun but is it keep doing it the same thing that's what you really that's a really true entrepreneurship is that's called lifestyle mm -hmm. it's not really a work work for me I can get up somewhere at 3 a.m. and do the interview in five minutes with someone and they won't even know I just woke up. Why? Because I'm so passionate about what I do. Yeah, you're excited. Yeah, excited because my best friend is watching me. That's why. You know, the person who's watching, they are my best friend. And they are your new best friend too, Ron. Exactly. Uh, as you are aware of, I am the founder of Pakistani Social Entrepreneurship Academy. That's a project of al Sharif Foundation. We are on a mission to train 1 million entrepreneurs in Pakistan. So the people who can read English and write English and they have some technology skills, 
and they are a finisher. What the finisher means, they do whatever it takes to make it happen. Just like if you recall your past, you started on Fiverr because you are a finisher. You, you kept going until you touched the finish line. The finish line was what? Getting the first $5 order on Fiverr. Now you delivered it. You figured out how to deliver it. Now you streamlined it. So tell us, I need your support on that. I can't help those million people myself. This is my way of giving back. Do I have your support to help them? I know you're supporting them on through this content to inspire them. However, I need your support on ongoing basis once a month, 15 minutes. It won't even go a minute more than that. I will okay. need every month three secrets from you, what you kind of using it, just inspiring them. There's no one to sure. do on anyone. Once a month, 15 minutes. Do I have your support? Oh yeah, I would, I would be, I would love that. That would be fantastic. I would love to help everyone because it's, it, I mean, it's one of those things that what I get most joy out of, because I, one thing I left out of my history is that I taught at the graduate level for probably 10 years. And so one of my passions is teaching. I love doing it. So if you give me the opportunity to sit every month for 15 minutes and kind of just pick my brain and I can help all of your, all of your audience, that would be wonderful. I would, I'd love that. Thank you. So you are watching, you are my student from Pakistan. Please say thank you in the comments. If you don't say thank you, I'm not going to give you the videos every 15 minutes, <laughs> once a month. Tell me because it's very important to receive that message from you to on this is because when someone is trying to create impact in your life, what you do is a simple word. Thank you, Ron, for oh, you're welcome. my life and sharing it. That's, that's that important. So Ron, let's start for that 15 minutes right now. So what okay. are the top three things, someone who is starting out on Fiverr right now, what are the, I know you shared the 10 tips how to get started on Fiverr, I get that, yes. you know? However, what are the top three things I wanna, can, top three, not top 10. Okay. Go with the first one, make sure they can implement, tell us in a way so they can implement and like a, like a stealing your pocket basically, but for the knowledge, not for the money part. So go okay. for it. Perfect. What I would say is this, is I may go to four, because the first one is kind of like an overriding just philosophy, is that I believe that to be successful on Fiverr, you have to think of your Fiverr service as a business. It's not a hobby, it's not something that you're just doing, dabbling with on the side, but think of it as a business. And if you think of yourself as a business, then you're a brand, just like Coca-Cola and IBM and Microsoft and Google, they're a brand. And so they run a business in a certain way. And so if you're on Fiverr, in what, Fiverr or not on Fiverr, but since we're talking about Fiverr, if you're on Fiverr, think of your Fiverr business as a business. And as a business, you have a brand yourself. So you have your, you know, what you say to the world on Fiverr. You also have how you interact with customers. So what type of interaction you're gonna have with them. So the first thing I would say is make sure that you look at your Fiverr business as a business. Now, the first step I would say with that in mind is you have to pick something that you're passionate about because let me just a real quick story. I do spokesperson videos. One time I decided to do a service, which was one of those scribe videos where you see the whiteboard and you see like a handwriting type of thing. And there's software that lets you do that. So I put a gig out there and I hated doing it. I didn't like doing it. I woke up in the morning and if I saw an order for that whiteboard style video, I, I, I didn't like it. I didn't want to see those orders. So if you think of your business, Fiverr business as a business, you want to pick something that you're passionate about and that you're good at and that you want to, that you can see making money at. So let's just say if you're a good logo designer, you like designing logos, you're a good graphic artist, then take that talent and use it and try to then make that as your business on Fiverr. So if you're good at graphical content, making graphics, go on Fiverr and see what other people are selling and see where your niche is within that. So make sure that you're passionate about it because if you're not passionate and you don't enjoy it, you're gonna be like me and you're gonna quit it because you're not gonna like it. So I would say that's the first step. That's the very first step. The second step is don't overthink it. And what I mean by that is, once you have your idea for a gig that you're gonna create out there, that you're gonna put out there, make sure that you do the work, come up with the description, come up with all of that, but make sure you just do it. Don't try to overanalyze it, just get your gig out there as quickly as you can. Obviously, you wanna make sure it's quality and everything else, but make sure that you just get it out there. 
make sure that, that you put it out there and that you're ready to start selling because that's the best way. You just have to, as Nike says, you just have to just do it. Take action. The last thing I will say, and believe it or not, on Fiverr, this is pretty important. I could go through a ton of best practices, but we'll save those for next month. But I would say when you're just starting out, when you're doing your gig description, and I said like step two is just getting your gig out there, but make sure that you focus on quality. So when you have a description, and if Sadiq showed you my screen where you saw kind of how I had everything written down in my description and in my title, make sure that you're using correct grammar. Make sure that you're using proper English because Fiverr is an English language based platform. So make sure that you're using correct grammar, correct English, and making sure that your description is clear so that your customers, your prospective customers, your buyers know exactly what they're getting for $5. And if you're a non-native English speaker, or even if you are a native English speaker, you should always have someone proofread your gig description to make sure it makes sense. And so you can hire someone on Fiverr to proofread your gig description for you. So you want to make sure that your gig description sells your service, that's true, but you also want to provide enough detail so the buyer knows what he or she's getting for $5, and then make sure it has correct grammar, correct spelling, because unfortunately, for good or for bad, people will judge your gig by those little things, and you don't want to give a buyer any reason to not hire you, and if they see something like a misspelling or a grammatical error, that gives them at least one reason to go choose a competitor. So just make sure that you focus on quality. So those, I think for today, I think if someone's just starting, I think those are some of the things that I would work on and, and focus on. No, wonderful. That's amazing. So thank you so much. That really gives me, in fact, when I speak English, my probably my sentence are like a 60% wrong sentence, by the way, because <laughs> it's not my native language, first of all. I have been trying to learn for the last 20 years. I'm still not <laughs> successful. You know, my, my daughter, my wife correct me all the time. Oh, Sadiq, you screw up this word, this word. I say, you are focusing on the wrong thing. I am trying to improve it. Tell me. Yes. I'm trying to improve it. However, I'm going for it. I'm not stopping. But the one thing I also will say, this is kind of maybe a number four, is that when it comes to the grammar part, just make sure the writing is grammatically correct. There's a video portion on Fiverr, and if you look, you can record your video, and I would suggest anyone who sells on Fiverr, make sure you record a video, preferably of yourself, even if you're scared to be on camera, even if you don't have perfect English, do it anyway, because what happens is people can forgive. If, if I'm like, for instance, if I spoke French, which I don't, I don't speak French, but if I did, but it wasn't that good, people can forgive me for that, if they see my gig profile is written in perfect French, everything is written in French perfectly, good spelling, but then they see my video and they see me as a person. And they, they'll forgive English grammatical errors on camera because they get to see you as a person. S buyers wanna see and kinda have a trust factor with the person they're working with. And so just be yourself. And I suggest, strongly suggest you do a video and that's what's most important. So the writing side, definitely make sure that's good English and good spelling. But when you do your video, just be yourself and don't worry about, you know, the grammar as much. Just be yourself. The buyers want to see you. Very well said. That was a bonus tip, by the way. And when we speak on a video, our words are only 7%. That's the body language and the energy coming through, by the way. Then even as I screw up on all my 7%, but I still have a 93% to go after, which I'm not even speaking. Uh -huh. And the decisions are made on the back on your subconscious mind because they can see that how person sincerely, authentically is trying to connect with the person. And That's we right. do business. There's the only three steps to actually do a business. How many? Three. I'm going to tell you right now is that you have to know the person. You will get to know that person when you're talking on a video. Then they have to like you. If they don't like you, they will stop listening you right away. Yep. Get start the listening part, they have to like you first. And then the third part, the trust factor, that is build all the know, like, and trust model. The moment they trust you, you are going to get the order right away. If you're not getting the order, issue is not your gig, is the trust is missing. And the exactly. video is the best platform to create a trust, by the way. You are exactly. watching us right now, and we never really met most of the 99% of people I have never not met, and unlikely we are going to meet anywhere in the future. However, they trust me, you know why? That's why they became a student. If they didn't, there was no trust, they would not have become a student. There has to be trust factor. 
And That's the right. fact that I do everything from start to finish, everything in video. They are sick and tired of watching me in videos. Doesn't matter <laughs> how I look like, I don't care. I'm always in a red shirt, why it makes it easy. Just pick one and just go. I don't have to come with what I should I wear today. It's the same one. I may have a dozen of them, but it's the same one. <laughs> That's right. And, and then also saves you on like a buy one, get one free. You know, I'm just giving the tip how cheap I am on this one. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you're, you're exactly right, Sadiq. And that's why it's important to do a video on Fiverr because that no like and trust model is perfect. They can know you and, you know, they could, you know, in terms of like looking at your gig description, but to really know, like, and trust you, the video that comes through, just like, for instance, I'm looking at the camera now, and Sadiq, you're right here, and I so tempted want to look at you, because by looking at you, there's that more of a connection, and so when people see you on camera, they get a sense of, oh, there's the person who's going to be working on my service, and so I totally agree that know, like, and trust, three best things in business. Uh, absolutely, and that, by the way, that works in every business. It does nothing to do with the fiber. It has nothing to do with fiber. That's true. No. right. Once you know these three things, you will be successful anywhere in the world, in any online or offline or any business. It doesn't matter what you do. These are the basic elements to get business started and exactly. keep going on a business. Even you are on the top, you maintaining the top position. That's the only way you can do it. This is the best thing I learned it from my mentors, T. Kathauser. Alex Mendozian and Ted Thomas. Just like I told you, I'm a student myself. I am keep mentioning right. my mentor's name. So, Ron Desi, you already offered a 15 minutes every month. I'm going to ask you three secrets of your business every okay. month because just for to share, I don't do anything on Fiverr. I buy Fiverr stuff. I may be your client on your spokesman. You person. may have been. <laughs> I may have been already. I don't know that. I need to ask my team. You don't know what's coming, but I'm going to tell you right now. Okay. I'm about to offer you. A, uh, we call it a PC ambassador. Okay. Uh, PC in Pakistani Social Entrepreneurship Academy. It's like a, a P and C, like an ocean. Okay. And I am going to make you a PC ambassador. That means you support those kids, and you can be on ready. That way, when that's why because we want to give you something in return, so which you can say oh. I'm doing this charity work, and I'm teaching the I'm a part of their group who are actually trying to create impact in a million people's life and their mm -hmm. families. By the way. That's how big that's that is. And you will be our PC ambassador number three, by the way, right now. Oh, thank you. I'm honored. Thank you. Just like a super sellers, this is a very yes. unique, this is not a, like a every guest. Only three. <laughs> Only three so far. So you, you are a number three right now. It doesn't mean like who is better than, it's like a sequence wise, number one, number two, number, number three. three. Uh -huh. And our goal is to get a few more, and I'm sure I'm going to ask you someday that if you know someone who is also really good, high influence, and have a hard to help others create an impact mm -hmm. we want their sport definitely well thank you so much for that i appreciate it thank you so much ron anything else as we wrap up you want to say as a, you get as a final word i would just say that um the most important thing for everyone watching is if you want to sell on fiverr or anything else you want to be an entrepreneur you just have to as i mentioned before you just have to do it i think taking action is the biggest part of it because so many times we get to the planning stages and then we start to take action, but we don't follow through. It's more or less, you have to take action and just start as, I mean, the Nike slogan is the best. Just get out there and do it. And don't be afraid to fail. Don't be afraid to put a video out there that's not your best. Just putting it out there is the first step. You can always go and change it later, but just getting it out there, that's the first step. So just, just take action and just do it. Just do it. That's the most important three words you said. That's Thank right. <laughs> so much, Lan Desi, for sharing your wisdom with us today. On the behalf of Pakistani Social Entrepreneurship Academy and its entire committee, we appreciate you. This is Mohammed Sadiq signing off from Atlanta, Georgia. Wishing you good luck, good sales, and I do hope our path across again with another amazing guest. Until then, 